Uh, in this video, we're gonna show you how to do to minimize the number of tardy jobs. Uh, as you can see here, so uh, minimum of tardy jobs. Uh, we have five jobs here, one to five, and each job has a different processing time and it has a due date. So algorithm it goes like this. I was working at the British National So the algorithm it goes like this. There's a due date for each uh, job and there's a processing time for each job. So we start with a minimum due date with the slowest was minimum due date which is job one as you can see here and it's very clearly. So job one is a minimum due date which will take seven hours to finish or seven days or seven units of time which is very fine and it's still okay because we finish before the processing day so the least next least due date is job two okay which is 17 is the least due date as you could see here okay as you could see here so this one is like the second least due date Okay, and the processing time is okay, 7 plus 8 is 15, so it's still less than 17, so we're still fine. So we schedule job 1 and job 2, and the least minimum, next least due date is job 18, job sorry, job 3, which is 18 here as a next least due date. And if we sum up the processing time, 7 plus 8 15 and 4 19, so we are we finishing later than the due date, which is 18 for job 3. Therefore, we have to we have a mistake. We have to repeat or change what we did. Okay. Uh, so what we do here? Okay. We job two it has the largest processing time. So we move job two from uh, the sequence. So so far we do job one and job three. And then the next least date is job 4. Job 4 is 19. So if we sum up all those values, 7 plus 4, 11. Okay, plus 6, 17. 7 plus 4 is 11. Okay, plus 6 is 17. 17 is less than 19, so we're fine. So, so far we have job 1, job 3, job 4, and as a sequence. We kept the job two on the side, and the next least or the remaining one is job five. So seventeen plus six, we have a twenty-three. Twenty-three is greater than twenty, as you could see here. So we move the one with the highest processing time. In this case, job one. So so far, the sequence, our sequence, is job three, job four, job five. Okay, and it's followed based on their processing time and the due date is followed by job 1 and job 2. So I'm gonna do a quick recap. So you start with the one with a minimum due date, okay, and which is in this case the job 1. And next is the least due date, which is job 2. And you sum up the processing time. So 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 is less than due date of 17, so you keep it. Job is 3, so it's 4, 15, like in a way, 7, 7 plus 8, 15, plus 4, 19 is greater than this one, so we have a problem. The highest processing time here is job 2, we remove it, and we carry on the same way till we get them all sorted. And in this case, the algorithm is to minimize the tardiness, to minimize the jobs that are late.